If you want to message me after class, any questions you have, feel free to do it. And let's get started. I'm switching the comments off, and that's it. Okay, cool. So, it's going to be an intermediate class if you didn't do it before. So, let's get started. Get your chairs or your just sit on the floor. I'm going to start here. I hope you can all see me. I changed the view today because it's uh, I want to it's a beautiful day outside. It's really sunny. And yeah, I think we need some light in our in our houses right now. Okay, so let's start sitting on a chair. I want you to be like in forwards on the chair. I want you to take your feet um, hip width apart. I want you to relax your hands on top of your thighs. Your, your heels should be under your knees. I want you to close your eyes and I want you for a second scan your body. Whatever you feel. Tension, just release it. We're going to do a breathing exercise. And let's just start. Feel your sit bones connected to your chair, your back against an imaginary wall. And let's take a deep breath in through the nose. Expand your ribs. And exhale, squeeze the air out of your lungs. Let's add some arm movements. If you want to open your eyes for a second, just look. Inhale, take your arms up, shoulders down, and exhale, push the air out. And one more time. Inhale up, long necks, and exhale up. Let's reverse that movement. Feel your feet, the soles of your feet against the floor. Connecting and exhale. Feel the crown of your head long to the ceiling. Inhale up, one more. And exhale, release the air out. Good. Let's open up our eyes, take both hands up to the ceiling, and we're going to bring our shoulders up, scapula up. Inhale, elevation and depression. And again. Elevate and down two more times. Inhale, keep your ribs really engaged and down. Keep that space between your hips and your ribs and down. Change hands forwards. Inhale and let's go forward flexion. Bring your ribs under your lungs. So you're going to have a little bit of weight on your legs. Inhale, release your head, your shoulders and roll it up slowly, one vertebra at a time. And step up and sit tall. Let's bring our arms back up and let's reach one side and the other. So I want you to open up the space between your ribs and your hips. And look at your hands up. So you release that neck one more time each side. Inhale. Exhale. Stay forwards. Inhale. And again. Come forwards. Release your head, your neck, your shoulders. And we're slowly roll it up. One vertebra at a time, stacking up. And sit tall. Good. You're going to cross your right leg on top of your left leg, like so, in a rotation. And let's take a rotation to the right. Inhale, look back. And again, same side. Inhale, stretch. Now I want you to feel the crown of your head reaching up to the ceiling and roll to your neck. And come back center, stay, and let's take a stretch front, feel it in that glute, D. Release your head, and slowly come up, one vertebra at a time. Good, let's change legs. Sit tall, inhale, let's take a rotation. Now I want you to feel those ribs rotating on top of your waist. Keep both hips facing forwards. And come back center, one more time, to the right, to the left, sorry, sorry. Rotate that neck and come back center. And you're going to flex forward. Release that glute, that deep stretch. And come back up one vertebra at a time. Good. Let's open up our legs to the side. So we're in a second position. Rotate it. If you're on the floor, just open your legs to the side. That's fine to a big V. Let's do some side flexions. Inhale, bring your arm up. 
and put your elbow on your thigh and just take a stretch. I want you to have a long neck, push your shoulders away from your ears and opposite hip stays connected to the chair and come back up, inhale, other side and stretch through the crown of your head, reaching away from your hip and come back center one more time to the side and keep stretching and center and other side feel those abdominals starting to wake up and center and hold i'm going to change views you stay there if you have your chair if you're on the floor bend your knees bring your hands back let's do a back extension thoracic extension so inhale and exhale open up the chest so don't arch your back it's just your thoracics and rotate your shoulders back and center and again inhale stretch it up open up that sternum shoulders back now i want you to stay there and bring your hips up if you can open up push your hips up and sit down and one more time inhale and long neck don't collapse in your head stretch open up your chest and come back down good i'm going to move my chair out and let's go to the mat Come back to the mat. Let's start in the on the edge of the mat. You're going to cross one leg back so we can go to sitting. Inhale. And I want you to kneel down like so. Sit on the floor. Good. Bend both knees. Find space so you can lie down. Arms forward, shoulders back. Inhale. And I want you to start rolling on your sit bones, your pubic bone. So your upper back stays, you don't go back, so it stays. Reaching forwards, one vertebra at a time. Find that deep scoop, roll it down, massaging that spine until the end, and bring both legs in. You can hold your thighs and just do ankle circles. Releasing those ankles, and other side, circle. So important to to work your feet also. They work so hard for us. They walk, they hold it our entire weight, and hands on your knees, and let's do some femur circle. Keep your toes connected, and just do releasing your hips, lubricating those hips. Careful, don't arch your back. It's really small movement, and reverse it. So your hands are just guiding your knees. You're not holding your knees. Just a simple guidance of your knees. One more. Good, and hold your knees, and bring your feet down. I want you to align your feet with your ischiums, your sit bones, long arms by the side. Let's do some Gillibert abdominals. This is from Lolita. It's a great exercise to warm up your abdominals, and we're working with the breath also. So we take a deep inhale, bring your arms slightly up, and we're gonna exhale, and we're gonna look towards the camera, towards the side, and I want you to exhale. Keep exhaling, keep exhaling. And inhale when you're out of breath. And again, same side. And release, melt your sternum to your belly. Inhale, let's take it forwards. And reach through your hands, release. And again, inhale. So it's not the neck. And exhale, melt. So we're cleansing that internal shower that Joe talks about. Let's do other side. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale, that deep contraction. And exhale, squeeze the air out. And calm down. Good. Let's continue with some dead bodies. This is great for after giving birth, post um, postpartum, post um, yeah. So we're gonna work our uh, start warming up our deep abdominals. Let's do dead bug. Inhale. You're gonna bring right, one leg tabletop and bring it down. Other leg. If you want, you can place your hands right here 
on top of your hip bone and your abs, and you feel it really engaging when you bring that leg up and down and up. Let's do both legs. Inhale. Use your angle like you're jumping on the floor and one more time. Push up and feel the control. Let's do singles again. One and down. Feel your shoulders down to relax. And again, push up and down. Your pelvis is stable and your back is against the mat. Two legs. Push. Let's do one more. You're going to stay up. Hold. Let's do some toe taps. You want, if you want, you can bring your arms slightly more open for more base, or you can put it behind your, under your glutes, sorry. Or if you want more challenge, let's bring our hands up and hold. My toe touches the floor and up. Same leg. Down. Now I want you to flex your foot. Heel. Feel those abdominals starting to kick in. Other leg. Point. If it's too hard, just don't touch the mat. And flex. And down. And up and down. Now let's do singles. Let's do single, other leg. Point your toes. Don't arch your back. Keep those abdominals engaged. Now flex your feet and heel touch. Heel touch. Breathe. One. Last one. Hold. Inhale. Yes, good. And stretch your legs out. Flex your feet like you're standing on the floor and relax your hands by the side. Long neck, shoulders are down. Let's do develop pace. You're going to bend your right leg in. Hold. You're going to rotate your leg out. Squeeze that glute. Pelvis is stable. Come back center and hold. We're going to flex the foot and point. Bring that pinky toe back and feel that nice stretch. And hold it. Flex. Abs engage, long leg goes down. Let's do other leg, bend and hold. Squeeze that glute, hold your hips. Both hip bones are facing up. In and hold and flex. Now don't forget about your lower leg. I know it's too much to think about, but hold it. Flex, one more. Hold, feel that stretch and come back down. Let's do one more time. One and rotate and in and hold and flex and down and bend, and rotate, and come, and stretch, and flex, last time, and bend, and hip, yummy hip movement, flex, and down, and one, and rotate, and up, and hold, and flex, both legs, now deep abdominals, inhale, stretch, and flex, point, bend, I want you to push your legs out, and Flex your feet as much as you can, and again, bend, stretch, flex and hold. Let's do series of five abdominals. We're going to start with leg lowers. Bring your hands behind your head, and let's bring our torso up. So we're really, really, really warmed in our, our abdominals, and we're going to do four. Let's bring it down. Inhale. Now take your legs to your challenging point and point your toes. I don't want you to sacrifice your back because you want to bring your legs lower. Takes practice. Good. And deep core. One more. Bring it down. And bring it up. Single leg stretch. So opposite hand takes the knee. Inhale. And exhale. I want you to stretch that leg. Find that bullseye. And hit it. And stretch. Four more. And one. And two, and three, ready for double leg stretch, and bring your knees, exhale, circle, and squeeze that air out, and I want you to reach your toes and your arms really long, and single straight leg stretch or scissors, and you pulse, and you pulse. So you're up just to your scapula, pulse just to your tips, pulse, open your elbows to the side, one more, and let's finish off with some crisscross. Bring your hands in the back, take your shoulder, not your elbow, think about your shoulder, rotating in one. And again, straight legs forward, it's not a bicycle, and stretch, 
Feel that bullseye, feel your abdominals. And long necks, keep the air between your chin and your chest. Two more, one, oh, I'm feeling it, one. And release, see how good, oh my God, that was, whew. stretch one side, release, good. And let's do other side. And release. Good, let's do some breathing. We just did a lot of flexion for our abdominals. Let's open up our abs a little bit. So bring your heels again, sit bone width apart. Your knees are aligned with your second toe, always. Neutral pelvis, long arms. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, bring that pubic bone towards your belly and you curl up one vertebra at a time. Feel that wheel going back. Now, Find that long line between your shoulder, your hips, and your knee, and the energy goes out. And you slowly roll down. Melt your sternum down. Wrists, waist. Now, I want you, when you touch your tailbone on the floor, I want you to um, bring your pelvis forward to an anterior tail. Don't arch your back. It's just your pelvis. It's just really small. And again, inhale. Exhale. Bring that belly down. Feel your pelvis Curling up, curling up, long arms, relax your head, your neck, and slowly melt your sternum. Remember that person walking on top of you, pushing every vertebra down. As your tailbone goes to the floor, arch your pelvis. And again, bring your pelvis in, roll it up, feel your sit bones pushing up to your femur. And slowly roll it down, last time, faster, and roll it up. Inhale, roll it down, really open up that chest. Now, without articulating our spine, let's go up and down, hip lift, inhale, and push up, and come back down. Think of two ropes, pulling your hips up to the sky. One more. And you're going to stay up, bring one leg to table top, stretch it up, shoulder bridge. Now bring that leg down to your knee, come up, now stay there, go down and up. And I want you to imagine you're a synchronized swimmer. So you're going down under the water, but your leg has to be really up to the sky and down. One more, push, hips are squared, up and hold, inhale. Now you're going under the water, but keep that leg really straight up. Good. And down. Let's do the other side. Four hip lifts. Inhale. Exhale. Feel those glutes, those hamstrings too. Keep those ribs in. Last time. Hold. Tabletop and stretch. One. And up. Reach through your toes. And down. And up. Reach through your toes, and down, and up. Reach, last one, down, up, reach, hold, and you're going under the water, so I want that leg sticking out, and then release, good. Cross that same leg, and bring this leg in, three for me, stretch, inhale. Stretch that leg up, and find this big stretch, and change. Other leg, inhale, stretch it up, and come back down. Good. Let's do a little combination. It's really fun. We're going to do light circles, and then we're going to do a rollover. I want you to start here. Both legs up to the ceiling, point your toes. Inhale. I want you to open up your legs to a V, rotate your legs. And in. we're going to do that two more times. Inhale, open and exhale. One more. Inhale. Now, as you bring your legs in, roll over, exhale. Good. I want you to keep your toes pointed and your legs squeezing together. Open up the space we we're talking about between your hips and your wrists. Now, slowly, your toes, opposite force from your toes, each vertebra, roll it down. Hold your legs up tonight, and we're going to repeat that three circles. Inhale, exhale. Try not to move your back. Pelvis is stable. One more time. 
Inhale, ready, exhale, roll. Squeeze your legs and roll it down one vertebra at a time. Hold, we're gonna reverse that movement. Flex your feet, keep them flexed. Take them down, exhale, one. And two, last one. Three, as you bring your legs in, keep them parallel and hold. Your feet are flexed and your legs are parallel to each other. Now feel your heels touching the wall in the back. Slowly roll it down, keep reaching through those heels. Legs together and rug and reverse. And two. And go up and over, parallel legs. Hold. Bring that belly in. Now roll it down one vertebra at a time. Slowly, 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 slowly. And bend knees, feet on the floor. Good. That was fun. If, if it was too hard for you, remember this class is going to be up on my channel, my YouTube channel, so you can visit it again and practice it. Let's do the hundreds. I'm going to do a variation with my legs, so just keep on going, okay? Let's take a deep inhale. Legs are together. Bend on the floor. And exhale. Come up just to the tip of your scapula. Soft elbows, long arms, air between your armpits. And we go in. Three, four, five. Exhale. Two, three. Tabletop. Inhale. Two, three, four, five. Exhale. Two, three. Other leg. Inhale. Two, three, four, five. Exhale. Soft neck. Stretch it out. Inhale. Two, three, four, five. Exhale. Two, Three, other leg. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three. A little bit down. Inhale, two, three. Squeeze your legs. Exhale, two, three. Go lower. Inhale. If this is your challenging point, just hold. Lower, two, three, four, five. Exhale, keep your abs. Really engage. Lower, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three. One more go. Lower, two, three, four, five. Exhale. Hold. Inhale. You're going to tease her up. Oh, and bring it down. Good, and release your head. Oh, that was good. Stay sitting down. Let's take yourself back to the middle of the mat. Let's open our legs to the side. Mat width apart, flex your feet so we're ready to do our saw. Now remember your ribs. I want you to feel those 10 fingers between your ribs and your hips. So you're really long, really engaged. Let's twist towards the camera, inhale. Now you're gonna exhale, cross pinky toe. Look at the back hand, push that lever up. You're really engaged in your abs, come up and center. Let's do other side, hips stay center. Exhale, push that arm up, roll, scoop that belly in, keep rotating up and over. And your legs are really engaged, side. And stop. up and center and inhale. Exhale, come up and center and down. We're going to do some um, climbs. We're going to transition one side to the other. It's really fun. Just follow me. Bring your legs and you're going to go out of your mat. That's fine. We're going to go back in. Don't worry if you go out of your mat. So I want you to keep this leg in, in front of you, the one that's closest to the camera, and I want you to cross the other leg on top like so. I want you to bring your arms to the back, here. Now you're going to twist. It's like a snake. Find your side plank and hold your plank. Inhale, I want you to reverse that movement. So find your side plank, find your snake, and arm and leg. Let's do the other side. Cross. Find your snake, find your side plank, plank, reverse the movement, and again, let's do it, and one, side plank, plank, go down, and up, your shoulders are really down, your arms are working, and, and twist, feel those obliques working, and again, let's do it one more time, fast. And down. Breathe and cross. And have some fun with it. Use your arms. Circle your arms. One more. One. Twist. Down. Let's do one more. You're going to stay in your plank. Hold your plank. Let's go on top of our mats again. So you're going to walk. 
squat, hold that plank, inhale, find your neutral spine, bend your elbows if you want, you can bend your knees, and come down to your belly, good. Let's stretch our arms forwards, beside our ears, stretch our legs out. I want you to lift opposite arm, opposite leg, inhale, and come up, and think of, instead of going up, I want you to feel the stretch of your foot and your hand, and down, other side, stretch, feel that leg, let's do both, reach, so you're pulling away from the center of your body, let's do singles again, up, and down, pubic bone towards your mat, both, abs, so feel really engaged, in your abs. Let's do that again. Up and down. Find a rhythm. Up and down. Both. Last time. Reach. Abs are in. Ribs are in. Last time. Up. Up and hold. Keep reaching, reaching and down. Release. Let's do single legs. Kick. Come up, up to your forearms. You're in a triangle between your elbows, fists. I want to do the version I learned in ballet. Um, abs are in, shoulders are down, my gaze is really long. And let's start with the leg that's closest to the camera. You're going to bend and point and flex and point and down. Other side, one and flex and point. So your shoulders are really pushing down your scapula towards your hip, so we're not collapsing. So think your hands, your arms don't have any weight on them, so you're holding yourself up from your abdominals. And down, and point, and flex, two more times. One, and flex, and point, last one, and one, and flex, and point, and down, and come down on the mat again. Bring your hands back beside your chest, Elbows are back, like I like to call this chicken wings. So you're here, long neck, pubic bone towards the mat. Let's do swans. Inhale. Now I want you to find your neck, elongate your neck. Find that marble, Nancy's marble. Come up, reach up with your gaze, and slowly come down. The marble comes back in, and again. Inhale, reach through the crown of your head. And exhale, push. Again, your scapula are down. Engage in your back. You're not collapsing. And come down. Now I bend slightly. My knees are bent slightly when I come up. Inhale. And come up. Careful with your low back. Keep those abdominals really engaged. And come down. And also feel your triceps working. And again. So this is a push-up. Hop. And slowly come down and bring that little marble back in. Good. Let's do rocking. A few classes ago, I did this one leg rocking. I want to do it today, the exercise. So it's like a rocking chair, literally. <clears throat> so Joe took everyday um, things and objects and transformed them into the exercise. So it's so you can, if he says rocking, you can imagine a rocking chair going forwards and back. So that's what we're going to find today. If it's too hard to reach for your feet, you can take a towel, hold it in the back of your feet, and just hold it here. It's a, an advanced exercise. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Engage your abs. Inhale. Think of your legs. Pulling your torso up. Hold. Bring your gaze up and slowly come up, down. So we've been preparing for this movement. Inhale, reach it up. Ribs are really engaged, feel those abs. And come back down, we're preparing. And now we're gonna do some rockings. Inhale, reach it up, feel your legs. Pulling you back, hold, bring your thighs up, and let's rock back and forwards. Keep your abdominals in, in. See if you can go bigger, bigger. Careful with your head. One more. Hold and come back down. Good, guys. Inhale. And let's take a child's pose back. 
release that low back. Good. Breathe in, into your ribs and the back. Stretch it out. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. And so let's come up to all fours to our quadruple position. Your knees are going to be under your hips. Your hands are going to be under your shoulders. Your neutral spine, your abs are really engaged. Let's do some pelvic circles. We're going to start curling. Circle to the side and tilting. And curl your pubic bone towards your belly. Stick your hip to the side, circle, and let's do reverse. Let's circle just your pelvis. Try not to move your back. Long neck. One more pelvic circle. And hold. And recap. Inhale, push the mat. Exhale, bring your forehead to your belly. Inhale, neutral. And exhale, horse. And we're going to do that one more time. Inhale. Now I want you to squeeze the air out of your lungs. Exhale. Push. Inhale. And exhale. Horse. Good. Let's change to our sides. I want you to move to the edge of your mat because we're going to do some transition to the other side. And I want you to be on the edge of the mat, of the mat and on the back of the mat. So your, um, your back is aligned with your mat. You can come down here to this position or just lay down here. Bring your hand over your head. Bring your knees on, on front of your hips and stack one hip on top of the other and shoulder on top of the other. Your hand is here. Let's bring our leg up and down, bend knee parallel so it's small. And down, and two, and down, and three. It's really small, but start feeling. Your waist, try to bring that waist off the floor and your wrists also, three, and four. Bend knee side kicks, you go forwards, feel your abs, and you go back, don't move your pelvis, go forwards. Now put a cup of tea on your knee and a cup of coffee on your heel, whichever you like, forwards and back, forwards, let's do two more. When you go forwards, feel your abdominals, when you go back, feel that glute squeezing, forwards and back, together and down. We're going to do side kicks now with straight legs. This is for Nancy. I love her version. Without pulsing, we go forwards, flex your foot, feel the stretch behind your leg and take it back. You can ripple just a little bit forwards and flex and back. I want to add arms. So you flex and you push your arm back and look back to your hand and forwards and find your arabesque. And one. And just have fun with it. Two. Rotate. And three. One more. Flex and point and together and down. We're going to do long jumps now. I want you to bring that upper leg. We're going to start small. We're going to do four. And we're going to um, increase our range of motion. So bring this leg forward in parallel. Start bringing it up. Rotate it small. Bring it back to your arabesque and close it in. Let's do a little bit more, a little bit bigger. Forwards, rotate your leg, take it back. Now you're going to start feeling maybe this is going to get, um, it's going to be harder. So you can keep it small range of motion. But if you can, and if you can control your body, just do it as big as you can. Let's do this once bigger. One, as big as you can. Rotate. Now take it back and come. Reverse it. Small round jump. Rotate. See my heel on the camera. Forwards and down. Take it back. A little bit bigger. Up. Rotate. Forward. So this arm is helping me keep those abs engaged. Back. Higher. Forwards. And let's do the biggest one you can. Control. Up. Forwards. And down. Good. Bend this leg. Keep the other one straight, push your heel out, and let's do inner thighs. Inner thighs. Flex your foot. Careful you don't single your foot. So if you want, you could just, if you can't feel it, just look at it for a second and point your toes. And long neck. Belly is in. Pulse. Pulse. And let's do little circles. Circles. Try not to move your body. 
and reverse the circle. Circle, 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 and release. Good. Let's change legs. So the de leg that's down on the mat is bent, and the other one is going to be straight, like so. We're going to push yourself up, like here. If you have knee problems, stay in this position. If you can, open arms to the side, push yourself up, and find your kneeling position. Inhale, we're going to do side bend. Touch the floor, side bend. Come up, and other side. I want you to stretch, feel that spine going up and over. Feel those obliques helping you. And up and over, two more times. Open the chest, open your arms, stretch, feel that oblique helping you. Reach through that leg. And up, last time. Go, hold, arm stretches up. Look at your hand now. Find your balance and hold that leg up for one, two. Keep reaching, hand, find that star. Hand, foot, six, seven, eight. Bring it down, bend your knees, and you're ready for your thigh stretch. I'm gonna change sides so you can see me, but just stay looking at the camera. Bring your arms forwards. Inhale, I want you to feel your triceps. Push back. And we're going to exhale, long thigh stretch. If you have bad knees, please just keep this exercise. Inhale, tricep and exhale. Feel it long from the knee to the crown of your head. Tricep. And tricep. Exhale, let's do four more. Push. And thigh stretch. Feel those glutes. Push. And two more. One. Back, last one, I want you to stay back, hold, bring your arms up, let's do a little extension, feel those abs working and forwards, release, I'm going to turn to this side, let's do other side, open the other leg out, inhale, reach it up, and side flex. now feel a wall in front of you and back, so you're in between, or a toaster. You're the bread inside that toaster. And you don't want to burn yourself. So try not to touch the corners, the sides of that toaster. One more. You're going to hold here. Stretch your arm up. Look at your hand. Now balance and hold parallel. One, two, reach through those fingernails. Five, six, seven, eight, and down. And up. Good. We're ready to go to the other side. Sit down. And let's go to the other side. Good. Bend knees. Knees on top of your hips. Hips on top of hip. Waist is really up. And let's go parallel and down. Parallel. If you see sometimes I can go rotating. Remember I was a dancer. So my hip rotation is it's bigger than normal. And up. Two more, and up, side kicks, bent knees, forwards, squeeze that glute, abs, squeeze that glute. Remember that cup of coffee, or it's time, maybe you can do a mimosa, it's time for mimosas now. Forwards, and back, long necks, two, breathe, three, one more, four, and back. Knees together, stretch your legs under you. Think you're standing on the floor. Let's do side kick straight. One, and point your toes, and we're ready to add our arms, our best. And you go back, and reach, and two, and reach, and you're parallel to the floor. Now when you take that leg forward, feel that stretch behind. Two more, forwards, have fun, and forwards, and back and take it down. Let's do round the jumps. Let's start small. One, rotate and back. Feel your abdominals working really hard to keep you stable. Two more. A little bit bigger. Rotate and let's do your biggest one, whichever that might be. A big rotation. Take it back to your arabesque. Let's reverse it. That lower leg is holding me also. And two, breathe. This side is 
really much harder for me. You can see maybe one side is better for you and this side is killing me. Back, rotate the biggest one you can do and down. Bend that knee, foot on the floor, flex that other foot and pulse it. Remember, if you need to see it because you don't feel your foot, your ankle, just look at it, but then keep your neck really long. Pulse, 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 and point your toes, pulse. Breathing normally, pulse, 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 and stir. Go, one, two, three. Try to keep this knee really pointed up to the ceiling, and reverse it, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and come back down. Good. Let's turn on our backs. Find a small butterfly for a second just to stretch those inner thighs. We're going to do teasers. Yes. Our favorites. Let's stretch our legs forwards. Bring our arms back. Take a deep breath in. Remember your teasers. You can variate them. You can do it with bent knees. Inhale. I want you to find this position. Squeeze your legs. Exhale. And take it up. Teaser. Breathe. And slowly roll it down. Inhale. This is your roll up. Look the same. Roll it up. Squeeze. Find energy here. And slowly roll it down. Inhale. Melt. We've worked during the entire class, those abdominals. Reach through your toes and down. I'm going to do two more. Inhale, exhale, teaser up and down. One more time. And you're going to stay up in your teaser. Inhale, exhale, teaser up. Hold. Look at the camera and smile. You did your teaser. Let's continue to leg pulls. Bring your arms back. Point your toes. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your hips up and down. Let's do two more preps. Up and down. One more. Up and hold and leg pull. Try not to move your hips. So the leg that stays down, feel the back of the leg pushing down. Up and down. Let's do four more with flex. One, flex and point. Two, flex and keep reaching through your eyes. One more. Up and down. Hold. Find a little extension and come down. Ooh. And release down. Release your head. Release your legs. Find the natural rotation. And let's roll it up. I, I don't want you to stand up normally. Let's do a little rolling like a ball to standing. This is also from Nancy and Lula. I love this exercise. It's really fun. So I'm going to progress it. You're going to start lying down. You can bring your hands behind your thighs. Your legs are separate. Inhale. Now you're going to roll up. Use those abs again. Roll up. Put your feet on the floor and bring your torso forward. So you're bringing your um, your inertia, your momentum forward. So you're going to later stand up. And you roll down. Let's do that one more time. And scoop. Find that round the spine. Forwards and back. Good. I'm going to start progressing it to rolling like a ball to start standing slowly. Inhale. And go back. And you're here. See? And roll back. And higher. So you're going to start squatting. And higher. And drop down, roll. Don't put weight on your head. And let's do one more to standing up. And I'm going to do four. So you go down, roll, up, and up. Down, and roll. Have fun. One, and up. Drop. Let's add a little jump when we go up, jump, and last one. Roll, stay standing up, and release it down. Good, that got your cardio also up. Breathe, inhale, and exhale. Good, let's take a nice stretch to finish up. Find your parallel feet, connect your feet, the soles of your feet to the floor, to the ground. Feel connected up to the crown of your head. 
Inhale and let's circle our heads. Just your head. Don't move your torso. And other side. Circle. 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 And let's do arms. Circles. Circle. This is really engaged. Keep reaching up. And circle. And rebrace it. Find your ten fingers here between two. Thanks, Troy, for teaching me that. <laughs> Forwards. And let's work on some balance. If you want, it's, it's more challenging on top of your mat because it's more unstable, but you can be on the floor if it's too challenging. Bring your arms to the side of your ears. Elongate up. Feet are parallel. Bring your heels up. And you're going to hold one, two, keep reaching, keep pulling yourself up, five, six, seven, eight, and we're going to start reaching forwards, try not to bring your heels down, so you're pitching forward, so you're not flat back, you're not rounded, feel your ribs engage, so your weight is going to be just lightly going back, and hold your table position, inhale, find that challenge, and go down, try to keep your heels up until the end, heels down, release your knees, release your torso, release your shoulders, and we're going to slowly come up, pelvic floor, really engage, find that wall behind you and start stacking up, one vertebra at a time, stay there, inhale, look up to the ceiling, Palms together, bring them in front of you. Close your eyes for just one second. Being grateful for this moment. We're healthy and we're getting stronger and we're moving. So thank you for being here. Release. And I'll see you guys this week. I'm going to post my schedule. Thank you. I'm going to post my schedule soon in my stories and you can visit my website i'm going to post also that so if you want to see more classes this one is going to be on youtube shortly hopefully the internet works and send you lots of love let's put the comments on if you want to comment anything else oh how do you do this turn on commenting so thank you guys for joining i hope you're having a great morning great day have a beautiful sunday and take care big hugs Saludos desde Puerto Rico. Gracias a todos por venir y por acompañarme unos, unos ratitos aquí. Gracias. Bye.